The gallery is the tab over on the side that has a little picture on it. And within the gallery is where you're going to search for most of the things that you'll use, um, objects-wise, <laughs> images. It's kind of like clip art, you know, if you remember when you're in the horrible clip art that's part of the Microsoft package. This is much better clip art. Um, and when you click on my con if you, when you click on the gallery tab, the first thing you can notice in the gallery essentials, that's the one that comes loaded with SmartBoard, is there's 5,237 pictures that are already part of the package. And those travel with you no matter where you are on your computer. Um, no matter when you open up a notebook, no matter what file you're in, you'll always have access to the 5,000 different images that are part of the SmartBoard um, gallery. Okay? So I think what we wanted to do, first of all, and I have to refer back, I, I haven't used this training yet today, so I'm doing it for the first time myself. Um, we're going to find an image first and just see how that you can just bring an image onto, this, onto the uh, notebook page. So I go back to the gallery tab. And I'm going to just, and rather than go randomly looking, I'm going to search. And if you didn't see this the other day in training, there is a keyboard that you can invoke right here on the smart board. I wouldn't recommend you get up here and try to type a lot in front of your students, but for something quick, it certainly, it certainly will work. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to type for, let's see. I think we used flower the other day, and that worked pretty well. OK, and you can see it was typing in right up there. I just closed the keyboard out. No, OK, I'm going to the glasses so you see what it comes up with. So within the gallery that's built right into SmartPoint, the clip art, if you will, they have 17 different pictures of flowers. We're not going to talk about too many of the other folders just yet. We're just going to look at the pictures that we have. So if you see something that you want to use, you simply click on it and bring it over. And then it comes. Once it's on this page, we're talking about it as, a, as an object. Now, as long as I have the selection tool, the pointer, which you all have to remember, you can now touch it and move it around. Do anything you want with it, OK? Um, something else to know, too, and because we do we found with, with Notebook, there's redundancy built in. Oh my gosh, so much redundancy built in. There's many different ways to do the same thing. So when you have a picture, not only can you drag it in the way I did just there, you can also, there's an arrow drop-down menu next to each one of the images in the gallery. You can say insert, I'm seeing this correctly, insert into Notebook, and you can bring it in that way too. I'm not really sure why you would choose to do that versus just drag it in with your finger, but like I said, there's redundancy built into everything about it. So that's just another way to do it.